Yeah, hello, my wonderful and good people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's the Good Life Television reaching you once again. Today is another powerful and a wonderful day. I will never fail to appreciate you for the comments, for the encouragements, for the testimonies. You have been giving me the thumbs. I love it so much. God bless you all. And if you are just watching or seeing us for the first time, this is Good Life Television. You can as well subscribe, follow us. You will always be happy that you know Good Life Television. Today is a good day. I want to talk to our women out there this morning. Are you out there? Your family is not doing well for the married women, those in a very big and good relationship. If things are not working the way you want it, maybe you are married, your husband is not bringing in something, he's not progressing, nothing is working for him, you are suffering, you are not happy with the situation of things around, things are not moving, or your children are not behaving well, they are not doing well, they are giving you cause for concern. Their character in their life, their studies, every, nothing is working as far as the marriage and the family is concerned. Or in your relationship, nothing is working, a, a lot of promise and fail, not that the guy doesn't love you, but he is not really doing well to do those things. He will promise you, he will fail you, he will not fulfill it. He's not financially capable to, to take you into marriage. And you are worried and both of you are in love. But a lot of procrastinations, one problem or the other, hindering your, 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 your happiness and your fulfillment of the love you share. Today, I want to tell you, are you a woman out there? I tell you, this is the right thing. You do so that you can make things happen. Let me tell you, in a marriage, in a relationship, it is the woman that decides whether things will work well or things will not work well. If things are not working well, if you are a wise woman out there, you have to do something. You have to ask yourself, what is happening? Why do I have to do it? In the way God created women, He makes them the weaker vessel and He gives them the privilege, he answers them and he looks at their heart. Anything that is worrying you, God will always see you through. What do you do? I want to introduce to you what you will do to make that your union, your family, your children, your, your, your relationship to be very, very smooth and good and bring in those little things. In short, make your home a little heaven on earth. There will be peace. There will be progress. Good things will be coming. You will always be singing and giving God the glory for what he has done and what he is doing in your life. I want you to do this so that things will start working well for you. What do you have to do? I want you to prepare this recipe. When you have an original honey, you get me original honey, me honey then get olive oil. Very seed and original olive oil, not that this, this fake olive oils all over. When you get original olive oil and original honey, why is it very important that you make it original once? Is because this is spiritual things and anything that is not original will never work. That is why you need to be very careful before you buy. And when you get it, another thing you need is salt. But because the salt Salt is a powerful salt. Salt is salt, whether sea salt or your normal table salt. If you get your sea salt, because it has passed through so many hands and through so many distances before it gets into you, and if it's not seed salt, what you do is put that salt in a plate, bring it outside, let the sun heat it for some time. That sun heating it will purify it. Sun is a powerful thing that purifies every negative objects, every negative energies in things like salt. 
when you place it there, you bring it in. After some time, bring it in. Then mix that salt with the original honey and the and the olive oil. Put them together. But use this your long finger, the longest finger. Use it to stir it very well. Stir it until they mix very, very well. Don't keep that solution. In the morning, after your family prayers or you prayed after your prayers, just remember to go and take it. Take some quantity and lick. After licking it, bless the life of your husband. Bless the life of your children. Bless your own life. Bless the day that you are using this as far as this honey is in your, this recipe is in your mouth. Everything, your taste will start changing for your husband. Your children that are not behaving well, that are not doing well, you are using this to correct it back. Don't be in a, don't cause them, please. Don't cause them. Don't, don't, don't be angry with any of them, with both your husband. It's not their own making that things are not working. It's not their own making that they don't want to behave well. Something somewhere is making it that way. That is so, the thing you have to find. When you know the, 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 the problem, you know how to handle it. Don't see them as the reason. See that there are some spirits that are making them not to progress, not to behave well, not to do well. Fight those spirits. Where you put it, you are speaking to their life that any spirit, any power, whatever that is making them not to behave well, not to do well, not to progress in life. As far as God lives, you are using this medium to drive those powers away and bless their life, that their life will start bringing you joy, bringing happiness and progress to your family. It is very, very essential. I want you to do this. Speak of good things you want them to do, the things you want them, if it is there, people that they are up to marry, they have not married, you can prophesy to their life. Keep prophesying to their life and you will see the goodness of the Lord in their life. This is very, very practical. It's not an it's not idolish. It's not fetish. It is working and it is good. This is nature. This is what God can do. I want you to put it in practice. Make your family a little heaven on earth. Make your home a happy home that you will be proud of, that you will be proud to present. Make your children a happy children that you will be proud to tell people, yes, this is your family, this is your child, this is your children, these are your children and stuff like that. You know what I have just told you about. Just do it. Give this our video a thumb up. Share this video. Help others. As we help you, you help others. Let others know about Good Life Television. Let others know of good things you are, sh you are getting in Good Life Television. Send your testimonies so that other people will hear. And as you do it, the good Lord will bless you and put it in practice. Bye-bye till I meet you in my next video. God bless you.